This is our second in a three-part video series from the most recent Integrator Roundtable, sponsored by Bosch Security Systems. In this session, the integrators discuss the tremendous impact that global terrorism has had on security systems and their development. Right. It definitely opens opportunities for technology within oh, our industry. Yeah. You know, I was watching a show yeah. last Discovery Channel. Love the Discovery Channel. So oh, I was watching yeah. that last night. They're talking about analytics that are being basically created and deployed in Israel right now. For the facial recognition of the terrorist yeah. threats, yeah. Figure out who yeah. people are by the way they walk, and yeah. especially when we're talking about bombs, right. yeah. yeah. So it's very interesting then, to your point, talking about deployment where citywide deployment now is a shared deployment. Yeah, exactly. Right? So now we have to look at how's our infrastructure put in place. Yeah. Who do we know that can create a citywide Wi Fi deployment yeah. successfully and have the bandwidth to support the number of cameras? The constant kind of vigilance and, and in the news is helpful in the sense that it's driving public awareness that there needs to be public video surveillance and that, that kind of activity. And I think that is helpful in making sure that there's you know less public resistance to having you know cameras on the on the highways and things like this. People get aware of, hey this is good, this is to help. And they get used to certain types of things like, hey, security screening going through the airport is kind of important, right? Mm -hmm. And so they become much more conditioned to doing certain things, which is, which is helpful. I think when you look at it um, behind the scenes, there's a lot of stuff that happens in the background around, oh, yeah. you know, just the prevalence of threats and stuff. We do lots of work in oil refineries and things, and there's, you know, every time there's, there's an incident or, or, or or activity going on, all of those companies are already notified all the time, yeah. right? And because it, it's a very real, you know, it's a constant, um, you know, it's a constant, uh, constant threat. threat. It's always there. I think the average consumer, Joe Public, sorry, for no, no, to okay. jump in, but I think they're becoming much more cognizant of the fact that they're responsible for That's their right. own safety as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, the days of walking around with your head down and not paying attention to what was going on mm -hmm. around you, I think, are are going away. People it was an access control system. You know, that piggy yeah. you know, So yeah. I, I presented my car and I've opened the door, somebody walks in behind me. Mm -hmm. You will see people challenge people like yeah. that, mm -hmm. right? Whereas before yeah. your system was only as good as the people using it. Right. And that's a very simple uh, simple example, but that's somebody could be have a backpack and mm -hmm. walk right in behind somebody just because it flies a big smile and, and, and then mm -hmm. who knows what happens. Right? We're finding a lot of multinationals um, just coming to us talking about thought leadership. Like they yeah. want to understand what's going on. Um, and so, you know, um, We've seen like double-digit growth in our um, global um, travel and threat risk assessment work, and um, it's been um, a significant um, improvement for us in that in that space. And I think whenever you can have sort of a global conversation and then bring it back to Canada and bring it back to our local market, people are always listening now. I think there there was a time where they go, yeah, to Dominic's point, you know, it, it's not going to come to Canada and. And it, there's, there's a bunch of events that have brought it to Canada and brought it to our shores. And I think um, we don't know what it looks like. We don't know when it's going to come. But if we're not having that conversation, then we'll never be ready. And I think mm -hmm. um, they're taking it much more seriously now.